Saturday the 9th of June 2018, 06.39 hours British summer time, going to Caffili for just a short beano. Gardening amongst other things this afternoon. Really rather pleasant. In the summer. And look. Caffili Council can get something right. Almost perfect white balance straight away. It's a little cooler, there's a bit of a breeze. This is Naylor's Black and Tan, Porter and Bitter, 4.4%. Supposed to be nutty. You don't often get really nutty beers, so we will see. Hmm, that's pleasant. It's malty, there's burnt notes in it, it's bitter. I'm not really getting a lot of nuttiness. Well, that's quite nice. It's B, plus, but it's a good B. Plus. I'm still on Imperial, although I do like a nice bit of SI. Yeah, time to shut up now because I'm rambling. Um, well, that's a bit overcast now. But nicely cool. Anyway, it's porter day today. The last one was half porter, half bitter. This is nightmare porter. From, it says here, Nick Stafford's Humble to Males. I've had some of this stuff before. 5% alcohol by volume. Um, looking at the thing, it says complex coffee and licorice flavours. Good in Yorkshire. End of the barrel as well. Like coffee -ish aroma. Ooh, yeah, it is complex. Um, I don't really like licorice, but I'm getting licorice. Not getting a lot of coffee. Has a huge head. Although it's a little bit thin for a porter. B plus, because I'm not a great fan anyway. But, you know, let's hope it's a new beer. Oh, um, I think I've had this before. Daracha from Unva Almond Brewery. Scottish. 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. Oak matured ruby scotch ale. From the heart of Scotland. Uh, probably some industrial estate. Two twenty nine, not bad. Oh yeah. Getting the old barrels. Definitely. And that sort of caramelly, malty sort of taste. I'm going to give it B plus because I'm not a great fan of that sort of thing, but it'll probably make me slow. Oh, sort of um, whiskey is finished. There we go. <laughs> Twice. 